Um, so this is, you know, these are photos of the hotel, which obviously everyone sees every time they walk out and about. Um, some construction progress updates. So over to the top left, we have inside the restaurant, these were taken today. Um, again, our interior spaces are pretty jam packed with materials. So it's hard to get a great photo, but um, that's what we have going on in the restaurant, the lounge, and then this is that hotel entry. So the, the gap right here, <coughs> This is where our revolving door will go, and then a swinging door there as well. Um, you can just see some differences in our event space. So the photo on the top left was taken back in February um, when we had the walls on the building. And then we took these other two photos um, today. So you can see the um, infrastructure going in, the facade on the building. Um, it's all starting to come together. In terms of the lobby, um, Again, picture from back in February and picture from October. Walls starting to go up. Interior spaces, so we have two of our elevator cabs are, are um, in service now. So you can see that all connected, obviously to continue using for construction. Uh, one of the guest room hallways, we are going through doing finishes. So there's wall covering up, there's paint going in. You can see wall covering in the guest room over to the right and paint on the walls and the door frames in the hall in the center. Um, some photos of our bathrooms. We have tile going in and wall covering going in up through a majority of the guest room floors, starting to go in with the shower glass. So again, you can start to see some of the, the interior finishes. Um, this is up at our rooftop lounge. Um, it's actually enclosed now. There's just no good way to get a picture today, but um, it's coming together as well. And that is it. Any questions, any questions for, for Joanna? Yes. Um, is the hotel um, dining room for hotel guests only, or is it open to the public? It's open to the public. Open to the public. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, as far as for the restaurant and the lounge, uh, is the, the food preparation for that going to be on site or off site, like the current cafe? Um, on site. So we have a kitchen in the building. Okay. Uh, do you have an operator yet for the bar and the restaurant? I'll leave that to David to talk about when I'm finished. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, what about the, how, how large is the bar, the square footage of the bar and the restaurant and the number of seats? Um, the number of seats, we're still working through the layouts, but um, that's not the problem. I can't remember the square footage on this one. Yeah. Yeah. The restaurant square footage is about 2,700 square feet, and the rooftop space is about 4,300 square feet. Well, how will you be treating the garbage? Well, as we've discussed in the past, so we have a refrigerated garbage storage in our building. Um, we also have a compactor purchased, and then we're looking into some of the other things that we've talked about in terms of composting and things like that. Um, and then we have, as we've also discussed, we have a loading dock, which you can sort of start to see now as you walk down North Creek Road. But, um, <coughs> so the trucks go back into our loading dock. There's a direct access from our refrigerated garbage storage in the lower level up to, and then we'll go straight into the truck and be taken off. Um, am I hearing this correctly? The compactor is not yet working? I did not say that. Oh. We have a compactor. That, yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, that's what you said. We have compactor. I mean, it's not there yet, but we, we have ordered a compactor. We will have a compactor. In terms of the other, um, I know that the campus is obviously working on the dehydrator or whatever thing is called now. It is the dehydrator. Yes, the oh, dehydrator. Yes. Yeah. Very, 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 sorry. I'm moving on. <laughs> yeah, very close to having that in operation. Right. So we're we're taking we're waiting to see how that works out. We don't want to just buy equipment for the sake of buying equipment, but we've allocated resources and space and you know power and whatnot for some other appropriate equipment. So the dehydrator is here. Is the Cornell's dehydrator is here. And whether the hotel gets a dehydrator or some other form of equipment is still to be determined based on the success of that or not. Um, elevator to the roof. Is that an exclusive? I mean, because people in hotels don't like 
40 yeah. people going up and down in their elevators. So I haven't yeah. been operating that in two or three years. So it's a couple of different ways. Um, our elevators have <coughs> access for hotel guests to make sure that people are getting on and off in the right places. We also have one elevator that during the key hours of the rooftop um, operation will actually act as a shuttle car. It will go from the lobby to the roof, roof to the lobby so that outside guests aren't traversing the guest room floors. Great. Just, it could just be a future project for the restaurant that probably if we have a vegetable garden, because we do have a garden here. Mm -hmm. So if there's a vegetable garden that the produce could be used for the culinary uh, experiment. You're saying the local vegetable local. garden? Island. Yeah, we got it. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll <coughs> let them know. Ricky, so <laughs> the, um, I think there was a, a promise that residents would get some kind of lower rate for the hotel. Yeah. Has that been worked on yet? Um, as I think I mentioned last time, this is sort of the key budget season when we start to prepare all those things in terms of rates and everything for the year ahead. So they're working through the details of all of that now, but we've always said that we would have that and we definitely will. Um, I just can't tell you what, what that exactly looks like right now. Okay. And what about the rooms themselves? Could you talk about the average size of the rooms and what they're like? <laughs> the average um, size of our rooms, it's about between 260 and 300 square feet per, for the regular rooms. And then we have a whole bunch of suite products that ranges from 380 square feet to 490 square feet. Thank you.